Hi guys and welcome back to the revision videos for National 5 Expressions and Formula. So in this video we are going to be looking at gradient and completing the square. Again, what I suggest you do is to stop the video before I go through solutions and try them for yourself. So let's start with gradient. So remember there are four different types of gradient that you can have for a straight line. You can have a positive gradient where it slopes from left to right upwards or a negative gradient where it slopes downwards from left to right. We then have two special cases. A horizontal line has a zero gradient and a vertical line has an undefined gradient. So the gradient of the line itself it actually tells us how steep the slope is. Okay, so the larger the gradient indicates a larger slope. Think about parallel lines, so lines that run in the same direction. Those two lines have equal gradients. They have the same slope at every single point on their line. All we need to do to calculate the gradient of the line is to have two coordinates that lie on it. So here's an example for you. And I've put the formula for gradient in the top corner. This formula you need to remember. So m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we want to calculate the gradient of the line passing between so we're passing through the points A at negative 2, 4 and B, 3, negative 6. So the first thing we should be doing here is to label the coordinates. Remember, coordinates take on the form X and Y. So from left to right, we have X1 and Y1, X2 and Y2. And this is the information you need to plug into your formula. So start off by stating the formula. So M equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. And substituting in the coordinates, y2 is negative 6, minus y1, which is 4. That's all divided by x2, which is 3, minus negative 2 for, for x1. Now it's just a matter of working this out. So on the top, we have negative 6 take away 4, which leaves us with negative 10. On the bottom, 3 take away negative 2, that double negative appearing here, tells us we have to add these together. So we have negative 10 over 5. Finally, negative 10 divided by 5 leaves us with a gradient of negative 2. Okay, now we're on to completing the square. So these are two types of questions that you could be asked for completing the square at this stage. So simply complete the square for y equals x squared minus 6x plus 2. Or you could be asked something along the lines of express y equals x squared plus 4x minus 7 in the form y equals x minus al squared plus b. And these values of a and b can be used as a positive a. Or you might see a p or a q appearing. It could be any two letters in there. It's the form of the equation that you need to be able to recognise. So to complete the square... We want to have a perfect square with some adjustment. Okay, to get this thing that goes into, into the bracket, we always need to have our x term in there. And from there, we need to half the value that comes before the x. In the first one, we have negative 6. So if I, if I were to half that, we have a negative 3. Now, when we're expanding this out, we'd get an x squared minus 3x minus 3x plus 9 which would give us x squared minus 6x plus 9. What we don't want there is that plus 9 on the end. That comes from the 3 squared that we've just done. So let's take that off. Okay, so we'll remove that away and then add the 2 on that we actually want. So the 2 from up here. Okay, now it's just a matter of tidying this up a bit. So the x minus 3 all squared stays as it is. This minus 3 squared is minus 9 plus 2 which in total leaves it with x minus 3 all squared minus 7. And you can check that you're correct with this by expanding it out. So if we take this over to the side just now and expand it out, we have x minus 3 times x minus 3, since we're squaring that bracket, then minus 7. So expanding this out, we get x squared minus 3x minus 3x plus 9 minus 7, which simplifies down to x squared minus 6x plus 2 and you'll see that that's exactly what we started with so therefore you're correct 
the same goes for the second one here. So express y equals x squared plus 4x minus 7 in the form y equals x minus a all squared plus b. So we're looking to, the, to do the exact same thing. So we want to write it as a perfect square to begin with, with some sort of adjustment. So into that bracket, we need to have the x and then half of this positive 4, which is positive 2. We don't want this 2 squared here, so we need to undo it by subtracting it off, and then bring down the negative 7 that we actually want. So we can just tidy this up. So x plus 2 all squared minus 4 minus 7, which simplifies right down to x plus 2 all squared minus 11. So you see that's now in the form y equals x minus a all squared plus b. Again, check that you're correct by multiplying it out and you should get back to what you started with. So that brings us to the end of these tutorial videos for the revision of expressions and formula. It's now up to you to go away and practice these skills looking at further questions, exam type questions and get yourself prepared for your assessments.